And um, we're concerned was... raised quicker than expected recovery might require the forward, forward guidance to be abandoned. Uh, we did discuss some that possibility. Uh, we assigned, um, turned out we turned out to be incorrectly, a fairly low probability to that. The, um, the dis given what we're hearing on the medical side and um, given how we're all locked at home and, you know, they were saying a vaccine would be years away. And, uh, so we talked about the possibility things could bounce back and if they did, then we'd have to walk back from that. And we, decide, we discussed which would be the bigger error. I would have, I wanted to do, and the board wanted to do, and the staff actually, wanted to do everything we could do to help the economy get interest rate low, have a TFF, the return funding facility and the bond purchase program. We did all that and we told people that we would keep interest rates low for as long as they were needed and that was probably 2024. So that was a view that I would say the vast majority of staff um, supported. Um, you know, economists always disagree, so there's always people on the other side, and uh, there would have been a few people on the state staff who think, well, we've gone too far, but um, the board judged that it was best to make the mistake of doing too much and having to walk back than sitting there and thinking, oh, we just didn't do enough. Too many people lost their jobs. The economy was too weak for too long, and we talked consciously. I said, I did this, and um, um, I talked about the senior management quite a lot. Better to do too much and have to walk back, as embarrassing as that is, than not do enough and see people needlessly in unemployment and, and harm. But Dr. Now, Joel, you know, now I get a lot of kind of criticism for kind of saying that, but at the time, given the information we had, I wanted to do everything that I could to help the country.